Despite uh, Saudi Arabia's murder of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, uh, President Trump says he won't be turning against the country. Yesterday, the president was blunt about his reasoning. Being friendly with the Saudis is in the interests of the U.S. economy. I'm not going to tell a country that's spending hundreds of billions of dollars and has helped me do one thing very importantly, keep oil prices down so that they're not going to 100 and 150 dollars a barrel. Right now, we have oil prices in great shape. I'm not going to destroy the world economy, and I'm not going to destroy the economy for our country by being foolish with Saudi Arabia. The president continued down that path today, tweeting, quote, oil price is getting lower. Great. Like a big tax cut for America and the world. Enjoy. $54 was just $82. Thank you to Saudi Arabia, but let's go lower. Uh, Nigel Farage is a former leader of the UK Independence Party and the driving force behind Brexit. Uh, he joins us from London. Nigel, uh, the Saudis, uh, uh, even though the highest level of leadership in the country was implicated in this murder, appear to have gotten away with it as far as the world is concerned. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look, I do understand that for both the USA and the UK, Saudi Arabia is a very important market to us. Hundreds of thousands of jobs linked uh, with selling aeroplanes and munitions. Uh, I also get the strategic alliance with Saudi Arabia against Iran, uh, you know, who've been trying to spread a very extreme form uh, of Islamism right across the region. So I understand the reasons for it. But... Imagine if any other country had behaved like this. Imagine if Russia had behaved like this. There'd be a much bigger international outcry. And my real problem, Mark, is that in the wake of the Syrian crisis, Saudi, Saudi Arabia did not take a single refugee mm. or displaced person, but were happy to fund the building of 200 mosques in Germany. And right. what we have seen, what we have seen is Wahhabism being spread using Saudi money. So, fine, let's go on doing trade. Let's go on having strategic alliances. But let's not be frightened to be critical of some of the things that Saudi Arabia does. Yeah, Saudi Arabia's principal export isn't oil. It's actually ideology. And the oil just enables them to spread that ideology around the world. But basically, 15 Saudis... Uh, killed 3,000 Americans on 9-11. Nothing yeah. really... Ha well, President Bush assured us the Saudis are our friends. We now have a crown prince who uh, Senator Lindsey Graham and others say is patently unstable. Uh, and like in your own uh, royal house, uh, you're just a couple of miles from uh, the Court of St James's, they don't have uh, strict primogeniture in the House of Saud. So why couldn't we at least put pressure on Saudi Arabia to remove this guy as crown prince and have someone else as crown prince? Well, yes, I mean, you know, MBS, as he's known, mm. was sold to us as being this great reformer. Mm. Uh, the truth is, uh, that would appear not to be the case at all. Uh, and one of the things that he does appear to have done is to pursue the very unpleasant war that is going on in Yemen. And maybe for a moment we should think uh, that some of the bombs uh, that we're sending to Saudi Arabia are actually being used by him in this war. So you're quite right. There are many other options for who effectively can be the head of Saudi Arabia. You know, I understand what Trump's saying. I understand uh, in this country Mrs May's uh, reluctance to be too critical, but we should be saying and doing more. And, and we should also be clear, too, that uh, Khashoggi is being presented as a sort of hero of journalism. He's probably going to be Time magazine's man of the year uh, just because he is a dead so-called journalist. But, in fact, he was kind of a deep state Saudi spook uh, who just happened to fall out with the royal family. In a sense, uh, it's, it's, it's different sets of bad guys we're arguing about when well, we talk about Saudi Arabia. Of course it is. But don't you think, actually, the truth is, all through the Middle East, mm. uh, whether we look at Iraq or Libya or Syria, we keep on playing this game yeah. of saying, who are the good guys and who are the bad guys? And more often than not... We tend to get it wrong. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the old CIA line. Uh, he may be an uh, SOB, but he's our SOB. Uh, yeah, exactly. it's actually, the truth <laughs> is the other. He may be our SOB, but he's still an SOB. Uh, Nigel, <laughs> thank you, and happy thank Thanksgiving. You. I know they don't have and it you. over there, but have a, have a turkey on us. Uh, I'll turkey, celebrate it. <laughs> thank you.